Ladies and gentlemen, the plays the thing with your host, Judy Sleeve. Special guest, Laura Benjamin, world famed artist. And now, here's Judy, Judy, Judy. Love me. Hello, everybody. I am surrounded by beauty. Really, this is just the most extraordinary art. And this beautiful lady made this happen. Laura, I'm so happy you could come and share Thank this you. with us. Thank you for having me, Judy. So I don't even know what the first thing I would like to know about this extraordinary art. These, these pictures are made out of, why did you tell us? Well. They're all made out of uh, recycled candy wrappers. Uh, some, some are taken off candy bars. Other times I buy a big, giant pack so that I can use the, the large logos on the outer bag. And sometimes I use the little pieces with the, you know, that are inside the bag. But the point is, everything is cut, torn candy wrappers. The only... Um, added element in any of my work is there is a black zigzag effect that you might see, which is rickrack ribbon, oh. which I use as a, and just as an accent. But everything else is, it's, it's just collage on canvas with candy wrappers. Mm -hmm. And I will say that it's, um, it takes a lot longer to do this than use paints to paint a picture. Uh, I used to work in acrylics, and uh, I could knock out a piece, you know, pretty quickly. Oh, but mm -hmm. any one of these pieces that you're looking at uh, could take a couple of months to, and in fact, the smaller they are, the longer they take me. They're more complicated, the detail is more intricate, and the labels are smaller, and, and you know, it, it's, <laughs> The reason I think it's so difficult is because candy wrappers, each one has to be cut in a certain way to create a curve, to create form. Because uh, there are so many candy wrappers that have just, or the logos on the wrapper, I should say, have a straight line. And mm -hmm. that would flatten my work and add no dimension. So it's very important, the labels I choose, how I cut them so that they curve in a certain way to create the form. Uh, it's a lot more intricate than one would imagine. But well, I, I guess so, but let me just ask you, how did you happen, is this is like your, do, do they call you the candy lady? Oh yes, <laughs> at CVS, where I buy a lot of candy, um, yeah. Oh, the candy lady's here again, Can and I go to check out that? <laughs> because I will. I, you know, I'll come up to the counter with a, my cart filled with candy. With candy, and um, but how did you happen to come up on this idea? Well, to... it's an interesting story. About I guess it's, it's at least two and a half years ago now. Um, prior to that, I was painting in. I, I did mixed media. I was using acrylics, and uh, I was interspersing. Um, different kinds of paper or cartoons or newspaper, so that I was already well on my way to um, mixed media. And um, I was also using some computerized images mixed in with the acrylics. And then there was, um, I belong to the East End Arts Council, and they have, for you know, all their shows, and actually I think maybe just the jury shows, there usually is a theme. Uh -huh. And they mm -hmm. let the artists know well in advance what the theme is, and I found that very exciting. I said, oh, I like working with themes. And I had been working with them well before I started the candy <coughs> uh, paint, uh, paintings, collages. And in any case, what happened was the theme for this particular show was um, pick one of the seven deadly sins. And your work in some way should portray that specific sin. So I started thinking, and um, 
of all the seven, seven deadly sins, the one that appealed to me the most, because I'm a sweet, I love sweets. I mean, I could live on candy, ice cream, cake. That's it. That could sustain me. <laughs> I don't know how healthy I'd be, but it could, <laughs> it, it, it could sustain me. And in any right. case, um, mm -hmm. I picked gluttony. And I said, gluttony, gluttony. Oh, what does gluttony make me think of? Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to think, how am I going to you know, interpret this? And I said, gluttony, candy, cake, ice cream, candy, cake, ice cream. <laughs> and as this is running through my mind, I suddenly said, candy, candy. I've never used, you know, I've, I've integrated other things besides paint into my work on paper. As I said, computerized it, but candy wrappers, hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I decided that, of course, gluttony, it had to be a big, heavy set, bulky person, person. Yes. way <laughs> overweight, and then I would do him in just candy wrappers. And, and so, so yeah. this and is the very, very first, first piece, creation. and I called him Candy Carnage. <laughs> and um, oh it's, a, it's a rear view of this hulking figure walking into the sunset somewhere, and um, I must say that although he was the first piece that I, I did, you know, in this mode, uh, he still remains my favorite. Well, or one of my favorites. Would you and know how many candy wrappers oh are gosh. in that one particular? Judy, I couldn't possibly say <laughs> because they're layered. Because I will do, I'll work something out and then stand away from it and go, I don't like that. And then rather than pulling it off because it's collaged on with a gel, uh -huh. I work over it. Uh -huh. So it's, it's almost, in a way I feel that this kind of work is almost like sculpting because I'm adding to it. I'm building mm -hmm. on layer on layer. So, and mm -hmm. generally there are at least two or three layers until I get it. I get an, you know, a section if I'm working on that's just right. But if you peeled off the top layer, you'd find another layer under that and another <laughs> layer under that. But in any case, Candy Up Carnage was the first piece and he has been all over the place on, uh, in, in different galleries. And um, as a matter of fact, uh, he's about to go on display at the uh, end of this month uh, for the retreat has a juried show. It's in fact the retreat <coughs> here in East Hampton. It's their first juried show ever. And mm -hmm. uh, they uh, only have 25 pieces that are gonna be displayed in Sag Harbor. I think they had almost 300 applicants and Candy Carnage got in, so, um, <laughs> Candy, so Carnage. Candy Carnage, he's, you know, mm -hmm. he's alive and well, and he's been on mm -hmm. exhibit for two and a half years. He's been all over the place. Okay, now I see another one. It's yes. Bites and Sour now, Patch. Now, this was the second one. Reese, yeah. <laughs> bite Size Kissables and Chip and cheese. She, Cheetos, Sour Cheetos, Patch. yes. She's got life wonderful savers. life savers, you yes. know, um, <laughs> in, in very strategic places. Little bites and kissables in strategic yes. places. Uh, uh -huh. You know, I don't even, well, I guess to a certain degree I do it intentionally. But, you know, <laughs> yeah. but, you know it, it's interesting. This was the second piece. And um, this was also for a, a theme show. And the theme was, uh, I, I don't remember, but it had to do with the, the woman's body. Yes. And um, so I felt, yeah. you know. And look, even the and, belly and, button is yeah, a lifesaver. Yeah. And, and she is called Candy Queen. Oh, Candy Queen. Yes, Candy Queen. I sort of yeah. got into the alliteration, the, you know, yes. the double C's. Mm -hmm. And um, after Candy Queen, I think that, I, I guess I can go in order. Um, yeah, the next can. piece I did after Candy Queen was, uh, let me put it, let me let you see it first. This was. Yeah, maybe you should just keep it on your lap. Okay, this was uh -huh. um, the third mm -hmm. piece I did. And what made me decide to do a portrait I am not exactly sure because this was not necessarily for a themed show. This was just done because it struck me. Oh, it looks very good on the, on the screen. Good. And um, so I I wonder if anybody could identify the face. I, this, he's pretty <laughs> identifiable. And that is yes. sort of what struck me why I felt like doing him in candy. I thought it would be kind of neat. And, yeah. Um, I, it's very interesting how you could 
piece all those little pieces of wrappers and, and then, make and, a face. And, well, you I know, mean, so that I'll resembles very, I'll be very somebody. Honest with you. This one went fairly easily. Really? And I said, oh, wow, I could get this resemblance in candy. That's wonderful. In, in it, cutting it all the. But when I went on to do a couple of additional portraits, it was not quite as easy as not the first quite. one. No, because I found that the smaller I worked on a portrait, in any case, the more complicated it became. Well, of so course, I, this, will, I recognize him right. This yeah, is Elvis. He, he and is he, Did he really like uh, dairy milk chocolate? No, but he was a <laughs> peanut butter freak, oh, from peanut. what I understand. Now, uh -huh. I should, do I have any? Yep, there should yeah. be some Reese's. Yes. There should be a lot Reese. of Reese's. Labels, yes. Reese's peanut butter, I cups, see it, Reese's yes. candy bars, on what have you. On at the bottom and on the yeah, side. Yeah, and, yes. and I sort of tried to add a lot of that because I knew he was into... Reese's. <laughs> I, well, peanut butter in any case. Yes. That was one of his staples. And uh, let's see. Now, talking in terms of... Well, in terms of portraits, uh -huh. as long as we're on that no, subject. I recognize now, her you, also. You recognize this, this yes. lady. And she was... She's my namesake. That's absolutely true. <laughs> She's another Judy. Yes. And um, frankly, this one was not done. This one was done for a show up in Provincetown, Massachusetts, the Provincetown Art Association Museum. Uh -huh. And uh, this one... There was no theme. But I just sort of thought, well, Provincetown, and, you know, all the guys up there, you know, they're always yeah. running around impersonating, you know, people like Judy Garland. Yes. They'll love it. Yes. So, uh, because Provincetown is a, is a large gay mecca, mm -hmm. and I said, it's perfect for Provincetown. It so is. Now, I, you um, made such a good resemblance. And, and, you know, it was hard work because working this small and getting the likeness was very, very difficult. Very difficult. And, but uh, you succeeded. But, but it worked, and it's festive and happy. Yeah. And um, so it's I was very amazing. Yeah, I was amazing. pleased amazing. that. Uh, yes. Yeah. And the last portrait I'll show you. Mm hmm is, um, this is an interesting one. This was done also for a themed show at the East End, East End Arts Council. And here the theme was to pick an idiom, any idiom, mm -hmm. and uh, base your art on the idiom. So I go on the internet and I'm like, idioms, idioms. And all of a sudden I get to an idiom, a chip on your shoulder, you know, carrying a chip on your shoulder. And I said, hmm. Attitude. Who has attitude? <laughs> and it just came together. Uh -huh. Betty Davis had attitude. Yes. Betty Davis, in many of her roles, seemed to, in fact, I went out then and got all her DVDs and started watching her yes. old movies because I had to have a sense of her while I was working on her. And yes. I said, oh, yes, she definitely has a chip on her shoulder. Yeah. And so if you look, it is a chip. There is a chocolate chip on her shoulder. Right there, yes. her shoulders yeah. down there. <laughs> There's the chip on uh -huh. her shoulder. Yes. Um, so this was also yes. a lot of fun. And um, while a lot of people don't recognize it immediately as mm -hmm. Betty Davis, when yeah, I what, yeah. then I tell them they go, oh yeah, the eyes, the this, that, and the mouth. Was a little, and every, yeah. You know, she was tough. She was yeah. tough to get the likeness. But I just liked it as, as a piece. and um, That's okay. A lot of yeah. caricatures you don't exactly. recognize right away. You're absolutely it, right about that. It's the art. Is, it's in the eye of the artist. You got it. <laughs> you got it. And well, it's then, fabulous. let's see. Then I will show you. I have some, oh, God, I have a whole bunch of stuff here. What is, we saw, oh, oh this is fun. This one is. It's upside down, I think. Well, then you won't. Know, then you can't see it if it's upside down. <laughs> oh, it's much better this much way. Better. This, they, they look like they're out of space. <laughs> the the theme, the, the theme for this show yes. again it was the East End Arts Council, and the theme was games people play. Oh, so yeah, I started thinking because you know I very often I go to the computer. 
and I do a lot of work in Photoshop. And I will sit down and work out an idea, a drawing, oh. for the painting, for uh -huh. the collage. I will work the idea out on the computer. The computer. And then translate it oh. onto the canvas. You're very so, talented. Well, I, I t you know, I was an art teacher. And, uh, but the computer. The, I, the, I mean last, the last five <laughs> years that I was teaching art, I was um, teaching computer graphics. Huh. And in my art room, I had, uh, oh gosh, I think 12 computer stations. And the kids were loving it because I was, I was teaching them how to work in Photoshop, how to work in Painter, how to create beautiful art On using the, 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 the computer as a tool. And uh, it was a very exciting time. It was the end of my career, and it was the most exciting time in my career. And um, so, yeah, I, I use the computer as a tool, and I, I begin at the computer with my concept. Mm -hmm. And so I sketched out this idea of these two old people sitting at a chess board outdoors somewhere, of course, because she's obviously topless. and. <laughs> You can, <laughs> you can leave him, he's left to your imagination, I, I don't yeah. know, but um, the name of it is, It's Your Move. It's Your Move. So, you know, it's sort of a double entendre, these, these two old you know, <laughs> folks playing chess, and it's your move, and they're somewhat <laughs> semi-naked, and well, make of it what you will, yeah. but again, as with all my work, it's about fun and humor and whimsy, and... Um, well, it's fa I'm, I'm fascinated with all this. It is so, so imaginative it's, and, it's, and beautiful listen, and I, wonderful. I have a good time doing it. I, I, you know, that's, that's the best part, uh, is how much fun I have. Uh, I showed you Elvis. Then I will show you this one was done. Yeah, I think this is the right way. This is called Candy Kitchen. Oh, And you yes. see a chef. I believe the chef is down here and he's putting a turkey into the oven. Oh, I see him. He has like a, a what's that, wet mm. puff uh, jacket. Yes, this like, is, this yeah, is that's his jacket. That's his, hat, his chef's hat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's your turkey and yeah. uh, the stove with little mm -hmm. York peppermint patties for the, you know, the knobs. Oh, this is great. And, uh, this was Those done are lifesavers. Uh -huh. His jacket yeah, is yeah, lifesavers. Yeah. And, and yep. this was done for a show also where the, the theme was food. Food. So I created a candy kitchen. And, yes. And um, that was that one. And then this, is, then this next one is probably um, one of my favorites. Uh, it was for a show done up in Provincetown. And the uh -huh. theme of the show is just yellow. That was the just only, yellow. just yellow. And I said, yellow, yellow. Yellow, yellow school bus. Me. Yellow for has long many time, shades. Yeah. <laughs> and, and yellow has many shades. And mm -hmm. for, at first I was thinking, I'm going to do a yellow school bus. It's mm -hmm. the epitome of yellow. And then I said, no, being a New Yorker, you know, born and raised in New York City and living yellow there. Cab. until I said, oh, it's got to be a yellow cab. Uh -huh. <laughs> and um, this piece yeah. I, I had a lot of fun doing. And it's an oh. old vintage 1940s yellow cab. And uh -huh. um, it's also been around town a lot, <laughs> meaning, you know, different shows. Yes. And, uh, I like Ike. Yeah. I, I like Ike. But no, that's not Ike. No, nope. the uh, not that not the president. There no. is a um, a candy. It's some sort of a candy corn or popcorn. Ike and Mo, something oh. like that. Yeah. So and look at this happy M and M oh, there. I love my little M and M characters. <laughs> they, they they creep. They actually. No, I have one that I didn't bring. That's oh, it's just a whole world filled, a canvas filled with M and M's, little oh. M and M people climbing all over the place. I I decided this was enough to bring. But, um, and, and the last one that I brought, I think I've shown you, what no, no, I have two more, I have two more. No. This one, this one was done, actually I was asked to do this um, for a silent auction, mm -hmm. a benefit for the East End Arts Council, but they asked me to do it on a door. 
an actual door. Uh -huh. And so I did, uh, I did, well, this is uh, the second and you version of it. took the door with you. No, th yeah, <laughs> I, I, I had to go out and get a door, yeah. a 30 by 78 door. And it was not easy working on it either, but um, I, th this is the second edition of that. Mm -hmm. It's not quite the same, but this is done smaller. So I, I loved it so much I had to do one that I could keep for myself. So I work, you know, on a smaller mm -hmm. scale. Mm -hmm. uh, but that one was sold at the auction and um, it, it was just, it was held at a big vineyard. And all the other, you know, doors that were up mm -hmm. for auction were also there on display. But this guy walks in and he, he's, I think he was the manager of the vineyard. He said, when I saw them bring this in, not this one, but the door, mm. he said, I knew it was mine. Oh. He <laughs> said, I will outbid Every anyone. <laughs> I mean, as the bidding goes at these things, it didn't go yeah. that high, believe me. <laughs> I was sorry to give it away. So where are you from, Laura? Um, I am <clears throat> from, New, well, originally from New York City. And, uh, you know, I lived there and I taught there for 34 years. In, in, when in, you said New York City, well, it's Manhattan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, although I taught out of the city. I reversed my yeah. commute and I, I worked out in Corona, Queens in uh -huh. the middle school. And it was rough. It was very rough. Mm -hmm. um, these kids, uh, I suppose they liked art better than a lot of the other subjects, but mm -hmm. the discipline end was, you know, kind of tough. But I, mm -hmm. I enjoyed working with those kids that did have talent because I was able to give them a direction and work with them in preparation for going to, you know, getting a, a portfolio together to try out for the specialized art high schools in the city mm -hmm. and get them out of the ghetto, so to speak, if they had talent. And um, I think that was the most important thing mm -hmm. I did in my career, that there were so many of them that mm -hmm. I did. So you were born in Manhattan? I was actually, no, I was born actually in the Bronx. Oh, in the Bronx. Uh, mm -hmm. I lived in Forest Hills and went to school, high school in Forest Hills. And uh, after college, I went to school in Washington, D.C. at American University. I moved mm -hmm. into Manhattan, and that's where I remained. I still have my, my place there, but um, over the last several years that I've been retired, it's, it's hard. I, I love living out here so much yes. that it's mm -hmm. hard for me to say, oh, I have to go into the city next week. I've got something oh. to do. You know, it's like, <laughs> I, I'm claustrophobic yeah. in the city. I mean, out here is where my yeah. studio is and where I, I, I just, so I'm yeah. here most of and the time. And you have any siblings? Uh, oh, yes. I have a, a sister and a brother. And my brother lives in Colorado. My sister lives in New York and Manhattan. And... Uh, are they artists also? Well, my brother is, he's not only talented in art, he doesn't practice as an artist, but he is, um, by profession, he was a comparative pathologist and um, in academia. He was dean of the veterinary school or graduate school at Colorado State University. And he just retired and he's writing. He's writing um, fantasy fiction, science fiction. How do you like that? And uh, yeah, and um, so See, he... See, it's never, you can always start a new career no matter how old you absolutely. are. Absolutely, and he's mm -hmm. wonderful, and he's hell-bent on getting published, and he just, uh, he's all, he sends me manuscripts to, you to know, read. to read, and uh, so we, we do have that artistic, uh, you know... In your blood. Thing, in, yeah, and we have it in common, and we both yeah. appreciate it in each other, which is... That's wonderful. It's, it's nice. It's, mm -hmm. It really is. So, uh, and, so oh, and, and that one, one, that one I, just, I just finished that one a couple no. of nights ago. It's for a show. Oh, you just yeah, finished it. I just finished it. It's for a show uh, mm -hmm. in about a week or two, and... Um, Can we see this a close-up? It's yes. also, it's for a show where the theme is botanicals. Botanicals, so, fancy name. Um, I, did I a, would have thought it was like a sunflower. Well, you know, I, I, sometimes I say, I, because I haven't named it yet. Oh, I haven't I named it yet. <laughs> you, you, you well may have, uh, yeah. <laughs> because that was one of, <clears throat> one of one the, of names, the names, names that I, ran through my mind. Uh -huh. But the show is, it's a juried show, and I'm entering mm -hmm. it in a couple of weeks, and so I figured I had some time to decide on a name. I very but, often don't nail down the name until I have okay. to. Okay. Because... I'll make sure that you like the name. 
Absolutely. Uh, because sometimes <laughs> artists come on my show and uh, I just blurt out something. <laughs> Because <laughs> they no. want to know how I see things. So. Absolutely, that's very important. Yeah. <laughs> and and sunflower just so happens. Um, it's befitting. It very much so. And uh, so. Well, I didn't say it, so you should name it like that. I just said you know. We're what both I thinking the same thing, and great <laughs> great minds think alike. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, uh, well, I'm, I'm glad that we are a mutual admiration society. We, we most definitely are. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely are. So, uh, do you uh, do you sell these things, or you want them, if or I, is it, or I, is I it you like you want them all to yourself? I, yes. <laughs> the answer is I want them all to myself. Um, I surround myself. In, well, in that's my studio. Why I feel I'm surrounded by and, beauty. And um, when I'm in my studio and all these pieces that you see are hanging around me, mm. I'm at peace with the world. Mm. I am so, I, it, it just feels, and I know people get very angry with me and they say, Laura, you know, you've got to sell stuff. I mean, I've sold other, other work from, mm. you know, previous uh, genres that I worked in. Well, you could this, lend them. You could ask I've, them. I've, <laughs> lend it out. I, I've sold it. <laughs> within this group, I have sold a couple of pieces. Uh-huh. But frankly, um, and I know they say it's very important to sell your work if it's... It's but not. I feel, Some to me, I feel worked. it's more important to exhibit my work it's more important to get out there and have people see what I'm doing. Yes. Uh, and it's not about, it's not so much about whose house it's hanging in. No. Because I somehow feel that it's more mm -hmm. important that I get out there and have, make sure my work is being displayed. And that's why this is a wonderful opportunity for me, and I must thank and you. on that note, I'm going to say I hope we could just have one picture of of you with all the paintings in one shot so you could keep it forever and hang oh, it on the wall. Well, thank nice? you so much for coming thank on my you, show. Thank you, Judy. This was an absolute delight. I, I had a lot of artists, but this doesn't compare to any of oh, them. You, make, is, you, you made my day. <laughs> I thank you so very, very much. So, uh, and now you'd be surprised how many people will stop you on the street and say, may I have your autograph? Well, <laughs> I don't know about that, but uh, it would be well, nice. Well, it was very delightful. Half yes, an it, it hour. really was. I thank you. And it went so quickly. So, yeah, I know. I could have talked to you forever. I know. Yeah. I know it was. I knew it. I mean, I had to cut it short because I saw that it was uh, <laughs> coming. I can go on. <laughs> Back. Well, you're very good at describing everything and how you came about doing it yeah. and uh, the thrill that went into your work. It's a lot of fun. It is. Well, this was just, just wonderful. Thanks. So it was worth waiting.